Hi and welcome everyone, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to be going over research papers and how to edit a research paper for MLA format. So let's get started. Here I have a Word document and uh, it basically just has the text on it at this point. Okay, And so there's my text, it has a footnote, but um, the text isn't so important here. I just want you to notice how the style is supposed to work. And so in MLA format, first thing you want to do is select all the text in this case. And uh, we want to make sure that the spacing in between each line is the right amount of spacing. And so in MLA, it is a double space with a zero uh, point spacing after each paragraph. So right here, I go to the Home tab and I go to the Paragraph group. And then I click the paragraph dialog box launcher. And then I see in here, I could change the spacing right down in this option to double. And once I choose that, I could change this option right here that says after. I want to change that to zero point. Okay, that's the amount of space that appears after each paragraph. And then I click OK. And now we see everything is double spaced and there's no extra space in between each paragraph. So that looks pretty good. Now at the top of the document, I'm going to enter in the heading. So the heading here, uh, I press enter and I make sure that my uh, paragraph markers are on so that I c again can see uh, what I'm actually editing. So right here, I'm just going to enter in the heading. So let's say Rachel Holder is the writer of this paper and she's uh, writing uh, to Dr. Hillary Kim and here is dermatology. Uh, here's the class that she's taking, which is Dermatology 544. And then down here, you type in the date. So that'll be whatever date that you write the paper. And then you go and press enter one more time. And then it's actually the title of the paper, which in this case is skin protection. Okay. Now with the document title, you always want to center that. So I do a control E to center. Again, that's control E as in Edward. And so home tab, paragraph, paragraph group, and center is another way to do that. So there we go. Now we have our heading along here and our title is centered in the middle. So now we need to change the header and footers. Okay, so that's the text that appears at the tops and bottom of your pages. So I'm gonna go to the insert tab and I go to the header and footer group and I'm gonna choose header. I'm gonna go down here to edit header. When I click that, you'll notice that the uh, text in the background of the page is grayed out. This is telling you that uh, you're now working in the header and footer view. So you also see up here at the top, header and footer tools design tab is now available. So in MLA format, you're just going to type in the last name of the author, and then you're going to put the page number after it. So I type in holder in this case, and then a space bar. And then I'm gonna go to the design tab, again, the header and footer tools design tab and go to header and footer group and choose page number for the current position. And I'm just gonna choose plane number one. And there we go. Now I'm gonna align this to the right. And so I go to the home tab, paragraph group, align right. And so now we see at the top of this page, it says holder one. And that tells you that it is, uh, holder is the author and one is the page that we are currently on. Now notice that this text is in uh, black while the rest is in gray, meaning we're still in the header and footer area. So there we go. Now what I wanna do is um, I want to uh, apply a footer with the file name. So there's a few ways to get to the footer, but I just go to the header and tools uh, design tab, header and footer tools design tab and the navigation group and I click go to footer. That takes me down here to the footer. Now in the footer, you're gonna want the file name. So I'm going to go to the header and, header and footer tools design tab and I'm going to go down here to the insert group and under uh, document info you can just click right, right there file name and it's going to automatically add that file name into the uh, footer. Now one of the questions that I get from my students is how do I get back to the uh, regular text within the document and all you have to do is go right here to the header and footer tools design tab in the close group and click on close header and footer or you can just double click inside your text to actually do that. So we see here at the top of our page we have the last name along with uh, the uh, page number and then you'll see down here on the second page it says holder 2 and then at the bottom you see you have the file name in the bottom left of the um, of the page inside the page footer there and so again double space is you're going you're going to need it double spaced 
and with a zero point after for each paragraph. So that's how you uh, edit a Word document to be in MLA format. Um, I'll probably do another video on APA format, but those are pretty much the two that you're going to be typing in your classes um, as far as uh, different formats that you'll be using. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you have a video request, please put it in the comment section. I encourage you to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be creating a lot more uh, Microsoft Word videos as well as the Microsoft Office Suite videos coming up in the next few weeks. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.